Welcome back programmers, Guillaume here. Today I'm starting a new sub-series inside the uh, Pure Basic 101 series. This sub-series is about the Pure Basic editor. So I will make several videos and each of them will be about a specific feature of the editor. But this very first video will be about uh, downloading, installing, running the editor for the first time and also a quick tour of the different sections of uh, the application. So let's have a look. Okay, so quick setup and quick tour of the Pure Basic IDE. So how do you set up? Well, you go to purebasic.com and you go in the download section. I will download the free version, okay, 64 bits for Windows. Okay, show in folder, pure basic demo, x64, 7-zip, extract files here. Okay, I have this exe, the setup, and I just run the setup of the demo version. I'm not an admin, so I need to enter admin password okay I've got this nice wizard I accept the rules you should read them I'm install it in pure basic let's 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 keep pure basic 2 because I already have a pure basic installed I will choose English files you can choose German or French shortcut yes create desktop icon yes here we go, unpacking, extracting files and installing Pure Basic. Done. It asks if you want to launch Pure Basic. And here we go. First time running Pure Basic, it has this look. You can just the icon here in the toolbar are smaller than usual because I'm using a two. 100% zoom, uh, you know, the DPIs in Windows, the setup of your screen, and the icons in the toolbar are not zoomed in, so not resized, they appear as small as usual. And also, you get this information it is a free demo version, uh, so no Win32 API support, no DLL creation, and your code is limited to 8 hundred lines okay so that's the limitation of the demo version okay welcome aboard so this is the main uh, area of uh, the pure basic ide so it is divided into three parts the first part here is the code editor one tab per file so that's where okay enable explicit you write your code if you want to create a new file, you will have a new tab here. Okay, first tab, second tab, one tab per file. If you create a project, you can also have one tab for your project file. That's the code editor. Yeah, I can create a project, by the way. You can see quickly, well, okay, project file, whatever, project name, create a file name, okay, project file, okay, yes, test dot pbp pure basic project create overwrite yes overwrite see when you say that this is the editor you can edit code in those code files but you can also edit projects you can also edit forms with the form editor the form editor will appear also in this working area so it's not only code files okay it can be projects forms uh, like these. Okay, that's for the code area. Under the code area, you have the debug console here. Here, compiler, uh, debugger, what they call the error, error log. See, if I click here, debugger error log, show, it shows this section. And in this area here, you have all the different messages that, that the debugger or the compiler 
uh, can tell you so error message compiling errors compiling warnings um, this kind of information and the last area the third one is this area with the tabs here which are the place which is the place for the tools so here the toolbox is for the forms you can have the here your forms properties so here my form and i have my toolbox all the different gadgets and my objects you can have the procedures list the project information some file explorer okay and you have other tools we'll see that so that the three main uh, areas of your pure basic editor and at the top you have two things a toolbar which is just a shortcut for some of the uh, features which are also available in the menu so let's have a quick look at all the menus file everything about file saving opening closing file format file history very very powerful session history here you can see all your sessions with all your files that have been modified all the different modifications each time you save it will save a new line in this session history and you can find all your files here all your modifications that's very very useful also recent files that you have already opened so far i have not opened any file so it's empty but if you have opened a file recently it will appear here quit okay so everything about files edit everything about code edition text edition undo redo cut copy paste insert comment remove comment format select all go to some specific line or some specific keyword so everything when you need to navigate in the code projects i used the new project already but it's of course regarding project you can have the project options you can have a menu like this if i save this file here save as i don't know oh it's saving here okay whatever uh, test.pb i can select this text here project add file to project and the test pb file will automatically be added to the test project see test pb file is here and i can see in my project tool here that the file is added to the project open project folder will open directly the project folder here okay form everything about forms i can create a new form if you have a form you can switch to code between the code and the form editor uh, you can duplicate an object and check the image manager i don't know this at all compiler when you have written some code you want to run it of course while you run it using the compiler menu or shortcuts of course compiler menu so compile or run f5 run without compiling shift f5 you can just check the syntax you can compile with the debugger compile without the debugger you can have access to your compiler option and there are many of them look at that we'll see that in separate videos menu after menu feature after feature of the editor i'm just doing a quick tour here so compiler okay you can build set targets create an exe etc debugger everything regarding debugging uh, program okay so putting some breakpoints stepping over stepping in stepping out killing the program stop or continue showing the debug log looking at variables looking at the watch list the profiler the call stack all the good stuff about debugging debugging you should have a look if you don't know how to debug you should definitely have a look at how to debug a program because it's a really powerful tool you can check out everything that is going on in the program as it is running so it's very very useful and here are the tools menu so you have access to a lot of different tools one i'm using a lot is the compare files and folders you can compare two files or the content of two folders you can see all the different structures in pure basic here interfaces or even constants all the constants used in pure basic are available here 
okay tools you have a lot of different tools the form designer template the explorer color picker you can pick a color here and some of the tools are displayed directly here for example tool procedures where is it procedures here procedure brother it's just this tool it will list the procedure if I were to type procedure here uh, foo okay and procedure you see the foo procedure happens to be displayed here and if I am if I am somewhere in the code if I am here and I want to go to the foo procedure double click and your cursor goes right to the foo procedure so um, another video as well will be done on the tools and last the help of course um, help check for updates and the about box for pure basic okay some good information here but I want to show you quickly the help the help is really really useful it's very well uh, formatted you have all you all you need see the reference manual here so pure basic IDE you have some information about the ID itself so you can check it out but you have the user guide it's a different kind of help just uh, for the beginning user and you have the reference manual with all the good stuff general topics and here you have all the libraries that you have access in pure basic look at that 1600 or more comments in the whole uh, language it's it's really great because you don't have to like other languages you don't have to download some extra libraries extra stuff to make it work to do your program you install pure basic and boom you want to do i don't know a regular expression that will work network you want to display a movie do some sprite a game with sprites 2d you want to do 3d you want to use your keyboard or joystick or sound you want to 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 listen to some music play some music in your application you can do that cipher you can encrypt decrypt stuff http you can call websites web servers so you don't have to install anything else than pure basic and you can do a lot a lot of stuff so and the help is very useful see gadgets okay here you have access to all the gadgets and the, the, the help about each gadget, get gadget font, every function is, is defined, every function is explained. The help is very great. Also, you have access to this help in the website. So if you don't have the help installed, if you want to check out and you don't have your pure basic, but you just have a browser, you go to support here. And support you have the help at the PDF the help at the PDF without the libraries but the pure basic online documentation look at that it's the same help basically but online and that's great toolbar okay set toolbar button state boom that works you have access to the help here and you have access to other resources of course pure programming channel yeah I'm a good resource for pure basic right <laughs> and also interesting uh, you should check out the pureareanet it's a great website about a lot of pure basic code available here and also the pure basic forums you can get a lot of, a lot of information from the forums let's have a look here pure basic forum page you see you have a lot of different sections and you can ask a question and if you're looking for something and you can find that in the help you can first look in the forums and you might find what you're looking for and if not you can still ask ask your question and someone with knowledge will will answer that so that's great the pure basic forums and that is it for the tour of the pure basic ide as i said it's a very quick tour first look at the product and i'll dive into each individual feature in the next videos 
And that's it for your first tour of the Pure Basic IDE. Don't forget the guide. Um, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. Don't forget, you can still download the Pure Basic Cheat Sheet on my website, link in the description. And if you enjoy this channel for supporting me, just you can subscribe right here, check out the social media right there, and the latest video right here. That being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you soon.